the average taxpayer is entitled to ask, what's in space for me? First of all, I'll claim that exploration is deep within us, and our ancestors who did not have the desire to explore, who were not curious about nature, disappeared. That they were outcompeted by tribes of people who did have that desire to explore. Uh, you go over the hill, you don't know what you're going to find. And you're not going to go over the hill unless you're curious about it. It's a technology driver. It gets, you, uh, gets young people inspired to go study uh, technical fields, uh, feeding the pipeline of tomorrow's engineers and scientists. Uh, but it also, you know, spins out technical advances that make everyday things uh, possible for, you know, people on the ground. It is a way of challenging humanity to be its very best. Science is the engine of prosperity. All the wealth we see around us comes from science. But science is made by scientists, mainly young people. And once a child growing up sees what is possible, maybe that will encourage them to keep pushing the limits, keep pushing beyond our atmosphere, beyond our orbit, beyond even our nearest planets. When you come to realize that the Earth is a planet, which is not especially unusual, and it orbits a star, which is completely unremarkable, this informs your understanding of your place in space. And you got that understanding through exploration at every level. To me, the most important reason that you do a human spaceflight program is because you're in, you are inspiring the next generation. I was inspired by the Apollo Moon program uh, to, you know, to work hard and, and reach a little higher, work a little harder, and to uh, to dream about becoming an astronaut myself. And similarly, people during that time, I think uh, everyone felt a little bit better about themselves and about their country, and and it did make you want to work a little harder and, and try a little more. And, and I'm not just talking about technical people, but artists, writers, and and people like that who are not in the uh, space area at all, I think it had a similar effect on them. Young people have to be inspired. They have to look into the sky and say, wow, I want to be part of this great endeavor to explore the universe. So the space program has not only given us the wonders of communication satellites, weather satellites, TV, internet, things like that, it's also inspired a whole generation of young people to become scientists. Going into space, the purposes are manifold, from economic mining of asteroids to uh, protecting the human race by setting up outposts on other worlds, to what we're capable of doing through chemical engineering and material science in low gravity environments. All of these reasons are valid. That one inspirational reason to show what we're capable of. That will do more to push all of society to keep going forward, to grow, to be our better selves. And that represents the grand unifying reason to go into space.